So welcome, uh, welcome to Hackney Community College for our colleague for, uh, from up the road uh, and uh, welcome to uh, this opportunity for us to learn some new skills uh, in the college. Um, Leroy is one of the alumni of the college, for those of you who haven't met him, he was a, a student uh, with uh, Hackney College in, in the past. Uh, contemporary of uh, Johnny Rotten and Sid Vicious who met at the college. Mm. That's another story. Mm. Um, but one of the things that we've been talking about for a while is how we try and engage young people um, who are not involved in education, uh, the, the need generation in uh, getting switched on to education. Uh, and we know that, that new technology and use of phones uh, is one of the things that young people, whether they're turned on to education or not, are really into. Um, so we've been looking for a way to, to develop some new products and processes that would help us to engage with young people uh, and we came across AppShape and uh, we hope that uh, you're going to give us the tools to, to help engage young people uh, and of course as well as that we're hoping that what we'll get is some tools that we can use with our existing college students as well. So Lee, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, really nice to see everyone. And, uh, for me, it's um, I don't know one of the first significant steps for the, the alumni, and some of you might know that the alumni was uh, launched um, about eighteen months ago now. And primarily, we've tried to be ex-members of the college or associate with Hackney in some way, and identify with helping or giving back. So you know, you you learn, you earn, and you return. And, that's what we're trying to do. And um, through various, um, oh, I think, is that? So I thought someone was coming through. So, uh, through various um, steps, we, we, we've come to this um, point where we can do the um, actual training. And I'm really pleased that Torsten and his colleague is, is here to train you as staff members who, in turn, will um, train a cohort of young participants, um, hopefully next month, to um, learn a skill which hopefully will keep their reputation within their colleagues, within their peer groups and hopefully um, give them some form of formalised training which can lead to other um, training and employment. And I'm really pleased that um, HCC and Cornell um, are in this amalgamation which I'm sh sure you, uh, Ian and uh, Paul at Cornell uh, fostered over the years and it's good that this is continuing. So I, I, I just want to say thanks very much for uh, taking part. I would like to think it's the start of um, something that can continue and hopefully uh, you know, we'll have one of these legacies or post-game legacies where we can say that some young people have derived some of the energy leading up to the games and they can deliver something um, after the games, whether it's employment or entrepreneurship or just, you know, they might want to give back at some stage. So, really pleased to be here and uh, hopefully it's going to be a, a really productive day. It, what I've seen on the website, it sounds and looks very, very good. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll value the sort of feedback afterwards. So, enjoy. Sorry I can't stay, but my Olympic job doesn't allow me to, to stay uh, too long. But uh, Thanks to Steve Hedge for helping to coordinate this uh, and working with you guys and uh, hopefully we'll uh, our next alumni board meet and you'll be telling me how great it is and how uh, the young people are going on from strength to strength. So I'll stop there. Um, so then we've got five tabs, done grades, it's split into two years. The two years represent the two years for the course and when you go into each one it's linked to Google Docs. At the moment there is no spreadsheet there, um, but it's going to be linked to a spreadsheet where you can compare the units that you're doing for that year to the grades that you've already achieved or the ones that you've still got outstanding for both of them, so you can check how far you're progressing through the course. Um, and you've 
the same again for year two, same situation there. Um, UCAS tab, um, link to Google Docs again. This is where it will tell you how far you've progressed points-wise in UCAS. It will tell you, okay, fine, I have achieved the required standard for me to go to my desired uni or whatever. Because if you know that you want to go to King's College London, for example, and you need to get triple D star, then it will tell you in there, okay, fine, you're two units at D criteria away from getting that required grade. Um, deadlines, again, split into two years. All that's going to be behind there is Google Docs again, whereby the student can check all the deadlines they've got for the necessary units <coughs> in their own year. And then finally, we've got social, where you've got Facebook forum and the email. Facebook isn't working for some reason, um, but that is literally just a group where you've got all the students in the class on there. So if anyone needs any help or anything like that, they can go on the forum, post a message, anyone can reply, teachers included. And then email is just the email screen where they can email the various tutors for any support that they need. That's it. Nothing at all really, uh, and me playing, um, there's no real reason to it. At the end of the day, I suppose it's just a condensed website, but just as an app. So it's just purely a marketing tool uh, for finding out information. Uh, so for Hackney UTC, there's the home page. Uh, if you click on YouTube, then you're taken to... <laughs> video overview of the, uh, the new school uh, and then hopefully hopefully yeah and then also the uh, Twitter feed for uh, Hackney UTC as well so up to date uh, the doesn't like you doesn't like me does it press twice that first if you click on the tab again, the home tab at the bottom, uh -huh. <laughs>